Computers, not so much of a necessity anymore, to be honest. Literally, everything's on your phone or iPad. In fact, since when did iPad prices go so high? Like, there's so many iPads on that one lineup and even wannabe laptops, which are actually great. Just like the Surface Pro. Computers have the power which cannot be beaten by any type of phone or iPad by a millionth power. I mean, unless they make an iPad which has the power of a computer, which kind of will beat it. But this video is about the so-called king of those computers for a way better price. Still offers great expansion, connectivity, and yes, disregarding that it was hella underpowered over its past generations, this has all been changed. The new Mac Mini. Listen, this computer's got pure power. The model in front of us right now is the 8GB RAM, quad-core Intel i3, 3.6GHz, 8th gen, and 128GB SSD. If you want more storage and you want to get ripped off, go all the way up to 2 terabytes of storage. For me, what I've been using is a 1TB portable hard drive, which honestly, for videos and everything, you just take it from one computer to the other computer, it's that easy. Still works with time machine, still works like as a regular backup, and it's just like not even that expensive. It's like feel like 54 bucks, 52 bucks. It's a complete buy. If you want more storage, like I said, you can rip it off, but you can also expand it yourself. That's the great thing about the Mac Mini is that you can still expand it yourself. You can do whatever you need. So that means put more RAM in, that means to put a better hard drive. And honestly, this whole Mac Mini is not a bad buy for what is being offered as a price of $799 plus tax, obviously. It's a Mac, and for those people who want a Mac OS with the simple operating system, they still want the iCloud atmosphere so you can go ahead, you know, get from your phone context to your Mac, your pictures from, to the Mac, everything to the Mac, it's definitely a great buy for the buck. This thing's got power, like pure power, not only power, but you can also run Windows and Mac side by side. So basically you can have two operating systems on one thing on the same hard drive. Yes, if you want to format your partition a little bit more for the Mac, less for the Windows or vice versa, you can do so. However, if you're going to do that, I recommend going ahead and buying a new SSD and putting it in the Mac because trust me, two operating systems do not do good on 120 gigabytes of storage. Only are you bound to that option of 21.5 inches versus 27 inches, but you can also go out in a market and go ahead and buy your own custom monitor. Of course, you can take it anywhere you want for your meetings or school or wherever you want to go. That's where the Mac is actually going to do really good. Now for my personal use, I bought the monitor, which came gray. And this is the HP monitor. It's pretty cool. It's 25 inches. And I'm planning on doing a dual monitor setup sometime soon. Uh, hopefully when I'm not broke. So that means never. However, though, it's pretty cool. It came gray. I absolutely thought the gray was pretty gaudy. So I got rid of that. I blacked it out. Again, it looks 10 times better. However, the monitor surprisingly came with the HDMI cable when I unboxed it. And for $799, I don't think Apple can afford to put an HDMI cable because it just breaks their bank. Like totally. It's probably like whatever. Pro they probably need the extra cash because their phone sales didn't do that good this year. Anyways, it offers great connectivity. By connectivity, I'm saying like, you know, since most companies like Apple, Samsung, Huawei, <laughs> Huawei's banned, by the way, video's gonna come about that sometime soon later. Um, but anyways, a lot of companies are switching to type C because you know, just the speeds are like incredible. So what Apple did for their Mac actually is they put four type C cables, which are known as Thunderbolt 3. So you can go ahead and also hook up your monitor to it any type of type C to C connection, anything like that. So that's pretty useful. Uh, on the back also, there is two USB-A ports. So that's pretty cool. They're still not roughly translating over to type C. They're still keeping some type of difference. So you're not completely blacked out. And the HDMI cable can output at 4K video quality as to where the type C cables can output at 5K. So you clearly see a little difference over there. I don't think to the average consumer, 4K versus 5K versus 1080p doesn't matter. It really matters to the enthusiasts because average consumers is gonna go ahead and buy, you know, the regular monitor which has 1080p. This is where I thought was pretty cool. The headphone jack, what well, we already know, but the whole dongle thing, I'm not gonna get into that. Next to the headphone jack, there was another mysterious port called the ethernet port. Now this ethernet port, while I was on Apple's website, I've learned that you could configure this port. You can get a 10 gigabits per second speed on this one pretty much game changer for those people in the businesses who need all that speed they can get because not only do you have a gigabit but you have 10 gigabits of speed again server connections really matter ethernet hard wiring i'm not gonna get to that stuff but it's pretty cool also obviously in the box they're not going to give you any sort of keyboard or mouse which is actually my favorite part of uh, mac mini because you can go ahead and buy whatever type of 
mouse or keyboard set. They're really good options. I'm actually gonna link some down below if you guys wanna check them out for yourself. And not gonna lie though, it's a great piece of equipment. And it's got everything a person needs for the price. Literally, like there are no movie components inside the Max, so I guess they have expanded your lifespan a little bit more, but throughout the updates, they're kind of kind of decreases. So you have a little breakthrough point right there. It's pretty cool, you know. I really like the whole Mac Mini design and everything. It's black and it's literally matte black. I love that stuff. You can also definitely go ahead and do multiple display setup like I was talking about before. And honestly, disregarding the whole blah 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 Mac scenario, if you guys are one of those people who want the Windows, I'm pretty sure there are very nice alternatives out there in the industry for a Windows type of small form factor computer. Now you can go ahead and build your mini ITX build for those people who build computers, they probably know what I'm talking about. You can definitely go ahead and do that. But if you want something pre-built, you know, you can definitely consider the HP Z2 Mini G4 and the name is pretty complex, but just go ahead and there's links down below so you can go ahead to the HP website and actually check that whole thing out. So those people who are with the Mac, they're definitely linked with the services of iMessages, FaceTime, Photos, Calls, Calendar, I don't know. It's just like Mac hooks you in somehow which is pretty much hard to get out of. Now, basically due to the whole new capabilities of this computer, the new audience for the Mac Mini will be definitely the pros in the industry, like video editors. But as far as I've used it, the GPU has been correlating fine with me. Like for example, the, there's some whole conversation out there, you know, the GPU is definitely a little weaker than the MacBook Pro's GPU. But again, depends on how you're gonna use it, what operating system you're using it. There's so many factors that contribute to it. By the way, yo, keep in mind, if you guys are gonna use this for a speaker, Definitely, this is not the one for you. You definitely want to go ahead and buy a speaker because the built-in speakers are trash. Like they're good for system sounds and you know all that chimes and everything, but for music and audio, no. Listen, no. Buy speakers to use with this. Overall, though, guys, it is definitely a cop. You know, you get a great bang for the buck and. Compared to the iMac mid 21.5 inch base model, it's definitely a big upgrade up. You're saving a couple hundred bucks. You can go ahead and spend a couple hundred towards a speaker and a good dual monitor or tri-monitor setup, but it's definitely a better bang for the buck. It's portable, great connectivity, great software, Windows capability, you can still do everything a regular Mac does. It's not restricted whatsoever. And so the 21.5 inch base Mac model, is basically a dual core processing unit. I would definitely not go for that because in today's modern era right now, dual core is just like, I wouldn't, no, that's, no. I, I don't know why Apple's doing that. Why are those still a thing? I don't know, I don't care. But the minute I do find out, I will let you guys know as soon as I do. Till then, stay tuned to the Technical Theory YouTube channel by subscribing, hit that red icon, and like that uh, whole video in order to give me some more motivation to make more videos and push some more content out to you. And you visitors, welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. And current subscribers, thank you so much for all you do, guys. Your, all your support is really making me up. And honestly, this channel got a huge revamp. Do you not see all this? And guys, by the way, I'll catch you later. I'm about to edit this video. Peace.